Ignore that audio. That was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. Ignore that. Nothing. Nothing. Zero. Zipty dipty. Zipty hipty. Okay. Perfect. Denta. Oh, oh, I'm excited. Hmm. What is this madness? What is what madness, a path? What do you mean? What are you talking about? There is this is just not just a random 12 a.m. stream. Nothing weird about that. What are you talking about? Completely normal. To, no, just. Normal. Normal, a path. Normal. Normal. Mm -mm. Totally normal. Yep. Yep, birds. I was actually. So, what I'm doing here. Look at the title. I actually have a bunch of old childhood um drawings next to me right now. I drew when I was like, I don't know like eight until i was like 14 or something probably younger probably like 12 or something and i've gone through them before on stream a long time ago a little bit of them but not all of them and i kind of wanted to go through them so i decided to stream and go through them live some live through some memories you know live through some nostalgic stuff i so, i got a lot like i got a big stack here and i got a lot of weird shit in here <laughs> Let's go into the mind of Little Taurus. Very exciting. Is your day post God of War? It was chill. It was a chill day. Right after I was done, I was chill. I died. I went a bit insane while on stream. But after I clicked end stream, I just felt normal. 100% good. Mm hmm. so much memorabilia i actually don't have that much i got rid of so much shit there's there's certain stuff that i've kept but like i actually don't have that much shit i got rid of so many like old photos um when i was younger and stuff like that and with like old friends and whatnot so i just don't need them but this shit i kept this shit has this has meaning to me i like this shit this stuff is interesting and there's some good shit the, the top one already looks fucking insane. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Because mm -mm. I remember being like in great, like, I have nothing prior to 10 years ago. I don't know. I don't know. I like keeping. I'm. The thing is, I don't. I'm actually really good at not hoarding stuff. Um, I like to keep little things. From like certain memories like i'll be like all right i'll keep this one thing from that specific thing and that'll hold that memory that's all you need like i have like a chest that i have basically all my stuff in and just this little tiny chest and yeah just to like it's not really much about having a bunch of stuff it's just having one little thing that will trigger the memory Hmm. But yeah, you already keep everything. Some people keep everything. Mm -mm. 
I do have some stuff that I recently tossed. It's mostly boozy trinkets. Okay, I see, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Makes sense, too. You're older, too. So you just accumulate more stuff as you get older. So who knows what I'll be keeping later on in life. Um, yeah. Who needs 20 shot glasses? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. You really don't. You really don't. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I was saying beforehand. Um. Oh, God. My memory is going away from me. When I was, like, in grade 8, so I was around, like, 12 years old, I would um, basically draw weird drawings, and then I would stick them on the side of my um, desk, and I remember certain ones. I think they're in this pile. I would show them off. <laughs> I felt very cool. felt very cool. We might, I might well start showing off some shit here. So I actually do have a lot. Mm -mm. My original plan, actually. I've never been able to draw. No, none of this is good. That's the thing. It's just weird. Um, My original plan, I was going to make a video of this, but I decided to stream it instead. That's why I'm here. But yeah, I can't even draw straight. Damn. <laughs> all right. Yeah, some of these. So the, all right. All right. Some of these from my old friends as well. Like these ones. I remember these ones. Oh, shit. This one is just a gross one. Look at this guy. This is just a guy on drugs. Look at this guy right here. See, this is a path. See, they're not good. They're just... Whoa, there's something on the back here as well. Look at that guy. Got a little eye clot thing going. So I was probably like... Maybe like 10 or something. Around there. I'm guessing. There's this cool guy in the back as well. What? What? Look at this cool guy right here. That was kind of creative. I kind of like that. <laughs> Hey chocolate, chocolate! I'm tro I'm showing off childhood drawings. We're going into the mind of Lil Taurus. These are drawings I made when I was around, I think like eight to twelve in that ballpark. Can't remember exactly. But I have a bunch here. The night this is gonna be a nightmare fuel. Cause I remember having a lot of weird shit, so I'm excited. See, that was good. See, this is a cute one. So this is something I made called so this is a kalaka <laughs> all right you see that the little kalaka its name is kalaka it's from the planet zuku its language is what the fuck does that say hazo hazo -ke kolatu Perfect, since I was about to go to bed. Nice, give you some nightmare fuel. This one's just cute. I like this one. This one is also, the species is a futa. How big is it? It is... I think that says 92 pounds. And its height is three and a half feet. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. The good old Kalaka. Let me read the description here for you of what a Kalaka is. Kalaka is very cute and eats insects. When he is in battle made, he is very vicious. Vicious spelled V I S H U S and has killed a monster called. Shazuku and killed everything. Nice. Uh, he is with an army and there are uh, 20,090 futas in the army. 
Pretty sick, right? <laughs> oh, he's also very clumsy and very nice. He's killed a lot of people but and is a part of an army, but he's very nice. Very cool. <laughs> All right, so this is one that I remember. I had on the side of my desk. I would always have these ones. I love drawing people like this. This is my signature thing as a kid. I would draw scared people. They were so spooked. Look at them. They're like, "Oh god." And they're like that look at that detail on there. Look at that detail, the wrinklies everywhere. They're just so frightened. I don't know why they're frightened, but they're frightened. You know? Very spooky. Very scared. I don't know who this guy is, but there's a guy in the back who was just vibing. I don't know who, what his deal is. But. <laughs> this explains it. You see, guys, I haven't changed that much. This is just... I'm not putting on an act. I've all, I, I just... I don't know why I... This is how my brain works. Their hair is stranding shape because they're so scared. They're like, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that's one of the troll dude. Could have been. Look at this. This fucking shit. You don't have to see that. Um. Oh, there's this one. Look at this right here. This is just uh. I don't know what this is. Some kind of creature. I like drawing creature shit. He has some arms. Torn up stuff. Hmm. Very nice. Not much to say about that one. He's just kind of vibing. Mm -mm. Um, what is this one? There's this guy. Can't really see him that much. This is just a squiggly guy. He's holding a knife, you can see. And then a knife with a lot of knives in it. And he's a bit wacky looking. He's not not really good. He's just kind of vibing around him. Stick man. And then there's an evil person on the back. I think it's a chicken lady. Or something. He has a chicken body under there and she's looking like that i think she kind of looks like a witch <laughs> nice guy more of a prophet really uh, mm -mm. i wonder what my parents ever thought about this i should ask my, i never really asked my like mom and dad when they but a lot of kids draw weird stuff oh this is what <laughs> God, God! Actually, as an adult looking at this drawing, it's actually really worrying. Um, so this is a. I think this is a village being slaughtered. <laughs> um, maybe look in some detail there. There's some house burning, guy running away. Uh, I think maybe a zombie park. I'm not too sure exactly. Some kind of creatures attack the village. Um, everyone's running. They're on fire. There's some dead bodies. That guy's head's cut off. There's a guy cut in half. Really gruesome stuff here. That says something Kalusfa, which I think were like, I think it was a part of the other lore stuff I had. Oh shit! I think it was a part of uh this stuff. So th these guys were against the these these other ones, the Kalusfas, I believe. I think that connects somehow. Mm -mm. But yeah, so yeah, just a slaughtering. So I was probably around 10 when I made this. Very nice. Very nice. It's nice having some lore. Um, so this is the murderer. 
So this is a crazy guy. You look in the back, you see a house on fire and people in the back. Guys, this is actually really, I'm, I was going to like go, ah, ha, ha, this is joke funny, but like, <laughs> the, the more I look at a lot, like I put the murder right there. I said the murder, that, that says the murder, you might not be able to see it. It actually says that in the corner there. I know what this is, the killer's friend. It's like an evil camp, man. Yeah. People back in the village that are, I guess, dead or in that house that got them. Hmm. That's our dick so believable. I like to do reality teeth. Yeah, it really shows he's evil, you know? What the hell? What's up with that? Those are friends. I remember that. Get a detail or derail. Derail kind of worked too. I don't know what this is. Wait. Oh, I'm trying to fucking. Did I make this? I don't think I did. I feel like this is like the evidence of Damien's aka Devil Spawn from the Omen. Hey, there, we'll see some nice ones coming up. So this was just this. I don't know if I made this. The dr the writing doesn't look like my writing, but my name's in the top corner. This is just a spaceship design. But the only reason I could imagine, I think I made this spaceship. So this is gonna be gonna be fun. I I'm pretty sure. I designed this, or my friend did, or something, and we were going to make it in Spore, I believe. I played Spore when I was a kid. You can get spaceships later on. I'm not too sure, though, but I actually think that might be. You can recreate it in Spore. We have the outline. <laughs> Just then, it was giving. I'm thinking so because I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Same idea. Um, I had a bunch of Star Wars cartoons as well growing up. I made this like series of Darth Vader and Luke, but mostly it was Darth Vader, and it was like the stick figure series. I don't remember this one exactly, but. I wasn't even into Star Wars, really. Like, watching you figure out prime numbers with a serious face. <laughs> the one time you see me get to have a serious face. Another spaceship. That's kind of lame. Um, oh, this one is just a... Just a little pumpkin man. This one isn't bad. This wasn't, like, gruesome or anything. Something in the back that's kind of gruesome. I'm not looking at it right now. It's scaring me. Um... <laughs> This is evil Bukin. I don't know why it says Bukin. That might be pumpkin. Pumpkin man. <laughs> hey, Arthur. I'm going through my childhood drawings right now. I've done this before, but I never went into really detail. So I decided to re redo it and go through detail. We already looked at a village being slaughtered. So these are drawings I made when I was around 8 to 12 in that range. Um... This is also, if you guys want to know, when you're downloading Elden Ring, it's coming. I believe it's coming. Elden Ring is coming. This is uh, Jake's little sister, Sarah. I don't know who Jake is, but this is the little sister. <laughs> Very cool. Nice. <laughs> Big from State Farm. Eldering isn't the only thing coming. What does that mean? Mm -mm. This was my friend, I believe. Uh, 
more my why is this my cabinet? Is this me? Mm. Oh guys look there's just a heart how cute look see love it's all about love probably the only one that will get that jake from state i've heard state farm before wow where did you find those drawings these are my drawings i made these these are my childhood drawings when i was around 8 to 12. my creative mind i don't think i made this i'm pretty sure i didn't make this so that's nice Mm -mm. Definitely not yours. I don't think it was because it was in color. Most of mine wasn't in color. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure my old childhood friend. We got a bunch of ours are mixed up together here. Mm -mm. There's a bunch of theirs. Here we go. Here's mine. It's obviously stolen as you don't, and will likely never have a heart. Well, how dare you? So I've shown these ones on stream before. I'll, I'll show them again here. I was actually proud of these when I was a kid. I made a bunch of Mario characters on random little piece of papers. Well, this one's not a popular. It's from one of the Mario games, Mario RPG games. And like the original Game Boy Advance. Um, this is Queen Bean. Very cool. On random piece of paper that says Honda on it. I don't know what this is. But very cool. And then there's that one. Then there's Bowser. Bowser. Being cool. Very nice. Very nice. Please focus. You get the idea. <laughs> then there's Mario. Good old Mario. See, look, these are... These are, like, just normal. This is just normal shit. This is just a bunch of normal shit. I love this game, by the way. I forget what it was called. It was like Mario and Luigi's like some adventure shit. Um, and it was a lot of fun. We got Prince Peasel. We got Princess Peach. But she's looking. Does she have? Wait, what's on her? Wait, wait, wait a second. Did I give her like a breastplate? Uh, oh, that's just her. Oh, sorry. I thought that was her. <laughs> I thought that was, I was like, what the fuck did I do? To... I like all the Mario games. I guess. That's just a gem she had on her in the game. I thought. Princess Peach. Oh, this cool character. It's like the main villain in the game. Cockletto, whatever. And then we got our final one, Luigi. Oh, just just some Mario characters. But to more original stuff. I'll get through the rest of these loose stuff. Then I have some like books here. That'd be cute. So weird that she's called Peach. Her name? Peach. Peacho Peacho. Oh, we got an alien. We got Al. Four six nine nine. I don't think I know what that meant at the time. That's kind of cool. Look at his throat. Very nice. The paper's so wrinkly. I like that one. This one holds up. Mm -mm. Toadstool. Listen. Yeah. Nice. I don't know if that went off. Hopefully it did. You don't have my earphones in. Nice. Yeah, I just did. I saw it go. Nice. nice. So this is apparently something. 
He ignored me. No, he got it in, don't worry. And he's just something. <laughs> oh, shit! This is where I got into more detail. Alright, you're gonna see this is a massive change. <laughs> Princess Tulsa of the Bushroom Kingdom, not Peach. Peach can go get fun. Alright, see this is where things got more anime s and also huge fucking heads. This is cool guy with beard and and epic hair and <laughs> they're in a little suit too, I guess. Very cool man. Cool eyes. He's like, what the hell? Look at this guy. The hugest head in the world. And then there's this cool guy. Ooh. Look at him with that Sasuke hair. He's a bit wacky. There's his tongue out. Look, he's got uh, some muscle to him. The brunette. The brunette. Emo Sasuke. And we got this girl. So I, this like a lot of, like super fucking huge ass heads. Look, she had a little tooth going. Wow, crazy! I had a bunch of these. Then there. Oh my god! Look at that fucking head. <laughs> Remind me of Amy, guys. These are my Sonic OCs. <laughs> <laughs> very cool very cool very nice kind of looks like Kiba mm -hmm. that's Kiba <laughs> I kind of hey no this is my own character what are you talking about what are you on about is this chick she's something alright very Cool, I guess. I think that was all. Oh no, there's still some more of those ones. There's a lot of these actually. Female Kakashi. Look at this guy. Everyone, I like the tooth thing apparently. Oh, oh my. Oh, look at this guy's crazy hair. This one has like kind of Yu-Gi-Oh inspired hair. Wow, look how they have they all have the thickest eyeliner in the world. Oh, what about her? The pink tail lady. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. This one's actually pretty neat. I like this one. This one looks crazy. <laughs> this one? <laughs> the weird hat thing. I don't know what the hell that is. I think that... Does he have a rip on his... Oh, yeah, his eyes, like... His, like, skin's, like, opening or something. Wow. Koshirama. Don't know who that is. Mm-mm. Oh my god, there's actually so many. How many more is there of these? <laughs> okay, just, just three more. This is great. Hey, her head's a lot smaller. That's good. Put a nice little beanie on. Mm -mm. Another Kiba looking guy. That one is from Bleach. <laughs> Never even watch Bleach. Mm -mm. And the last one here. This homeless looking guy. Is he crying? I think he's crying. Huh? Alright. Fucking cry. Oh, I lied to you. Oh my god, there's so more. There's so much more. <laughs> Holy shit. How many of these did I do? I thought I did like four. Holy shit, there's so many here. Oh my god. Maybe I won't show you all these ones. <laughs> Holy shit.
I'll show you the good ones. This one's really good. This one is. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm I can't show this one. I'm I'm glad I didn't show that. I can't show this one. This one has some writing on it that legit is actually kind of pretty offensive. I'm gonna put that down here. Um, I I can't show that one. What is it? It is something that I regret making. I was a kid, so I didn't know any better. But it says some stuff that would actually be hurtful towards people. I'm not saying it, guys. Um, I probably should get rid of that, actually. And there's nothing bad. It was just the character description and everything like that in there. Not nice. Not nice stuff. We all go through character development. <laughs> um. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one's cool. He has like a headgear on. Very nice. All right. I think that's. There's still a lot of head ones, but I'm done with the head ones. There's this one, which is actually super fucking emo. This guy's the most emo one to exist. I literally had that sweater. Mm -mm. Emo. See, this, this is one where I actually started like, improving. If I would have kept on going... Like, this is, like, the head's getting smaller. It's starting to actually look better. You know? There was some improvement happening right there. One hour trial shirt. Oh. Fragile. Sweater vest. All right. Let me find a good interesting one. The diamond pattern. Oh, I see. I see the improvement. There was some improvement. I have the final battle between. Oh, blurry. So it's so epic that it has to blur. Between Darth Vader and Luke. Darth Vader says, you will die, Dio, or die, not Dio, you will die. Then Luke says, not even in your dreams. I don't know why he's colored purple. I don't think I did that, or blue. I think someone else did that. That was just the explanation, explanation mark, but it, it, was, it looked all weird. Then I used a circle for it. Pretty epic. Then there's just weirdo in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind that one. All right. Oh my God. There's so much more than I thought there was. I have my entire store Star Wars arc in here. Zombie. They all have a zombie plot. I'll put all that shit to the side for now. I had an entire like Star Wars comic. to think that when you were drawing this i was getting shit face in the bar in san diego yeah and so guys it's a weird thought eh i'll read you some dialogue from the star wars comic all right i won't show all of it but i'll show a little bit here i am darth maul's cousin i challenge you oh my god Oh shit, guys. Star Wars is shit. Star Trek is shit. That's a, a lot of people. That seems... Uh, okay, you can allow to think that. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, go ahead, look in. No, it's Darth Vader. Alright. We all go through that. What the fuck is this? 
in the back. I don't know what that is. All right. Let's do some individual drawings. Best friend loves Star Trek. More power to her, but I can't stand that shit. I never got into Star Trek. I'm not even a big Star Wars fan, fan even. I just watched the prequels growing up. Um, and then I watched the original a long time ago when I was a bit older. And I, I like Star Wars, but I'm not like crazy about them. All right. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is entailing, but it shows a kid saying before. So this kid was the before image. Um, and then after. Uh, did he become cool? Did he dress up? I'm kind of unsure what. I think he'd be because they have a suit on. <laughs> Watch either. Yeah. 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 The new ones are kind of shit. They're going to cosplay it. My helper pick her slutty costumes. Wonderful. I guess, yeah, he does have a suit on. I guess he's just cool. Oh! <laughs> I guess I missed some context here. All right. So we have the before, um, after, but there's more. There's more to the puzzle. I cut it off too soon. There's after, after. Then there's after, after, after he's dead. It's the cycle of life. It was when he was young, then became an adult, then became an old man, and then died. <laughs> oh, shit. This is life right here. This is life. This was me at like 10 years old, 9 years old, and I was like, yo, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I understand life. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have an alien here. It says even a evil alien that came to Earth to kill humans. They're zapping this human, going, oh, zappy gun. And it says at the bottom, innocent person. An innocent person being zapped by an evil alien. Not very nice for the alien to do that. Kind of a dick, not going to lie. It's from Omicron, or CV, or C8, the alien. Hmm. Futurama. Um, all right. We got this cool looking thing. Very nice. Um. <laughs> got a ninja egg. Very cool. Very nice. Mm. Now these are all just kind of just being weird stuff. We got weird guy. <laughs> Very cool. Very nice. Hmm. Oh, I like this one. Look at this drawing. This is a little chainsaw guy. Looks like a child with like chainsaws everywhere and just a creature, I guess. It's actually pretty neat. 
I think I was pretty creative, not gonna lie. Might have been kind of horrifying. But I feel like it was pretty creative. I think he has like... Yeah, no. oh, I saw the attachments there. On it right there. There's like attachment there and there and up here. And I... He might have like a, some kind of ball thing in his mouth. I'm not too sure. Find a terror, rose, my gun, chain something, and gun leg. You're saying so much stuff where I'm just going, okay. <laughs> but okay. I have like a Pokemon thing here. But like notes. Larion, level 42. Slack off. Petbird Woods. Level 18, fifth level 30. Oh, it's like where locations of Pokemon are. Nice. My notes. <laughs> Educate yourself. I'm sorry. All right. So now those are all the loose stuff. But I have some books here. Some stuff here. This, this one right here has Patrick on it. <laughs> gamer notes. Got my gamer notes. And I got these, which I think I'll have drawings in them. I guess we'll open them. So this one doesn't says don't touch, I think. Don't touch notebook. I have some for for Final Fantasy games myself. Very cool. That's that's good. <laughs> what we gotta do. We'll save the Patrick one for last, because that one's obviously the coolest. We'll do the regular one first where it doesn't say don't touch. See if there's anything interesting in here. It starts off with just a scary individual little face. That's on an entire thing. Nothing there. Very good. Mm. You know that you never mention playing Final Fantasy. Which have you played? Well, Little Chocolates mentioned they played Final Fantasy. They were one of the people who recommended playing Final Fantasy, actually. Final Fantasy Seven. Or did you recommend Final Fantasy Seven? You recommended Final Fantasy. Or maybe not recommend, just it was like, yes, that'd be good. I, I guess you weren't yeah, the IE. Just saying, I'm currently playing Final So I did a bunch of like, it's kind of hard to see on camera here. I did a bunch of stickman fight stuff. And so like, they were just like stickmen, just all having just chaotic shit. Like I flying, like punching over there. There's, wait, wait a second. In right here, that's actually a stickman being hung by a balloon by its neck. Very cool. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Or more Star Wars shit. Oh god, Luke and Darth Vader. To start with the end. Wow, that was over so quick. <sighs> oh, I made Super Smash Bros. characters. They all float down there. Hell yeah. There's the fifth one, eight. Yeah, I gotta try out more Final Fantasy games. All right, we have some Super Smash Bros. melee characters. We have Mario. Very cool. We have good old Link. Very cool. We have Pikachu. Look at Pikachu. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Kirby looking absolutely horrified. Very nice. 
I don't think any of these are good. Oh, there's Dr. Mario. You drew the Pikachu meme. Hey, before it even was a meme. I'm actually the, the original originator of it. Dr. Mario here. I remember him having a cape, but we'll roll with it. These are getting worse and worse. We have Luigi. Which looks like he's a little... Doesn't look okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we have Peach. Looks like I really liked her. Her and her frying pan. <laughs> Hit people with a frying pan in melee. Well, none of the games as well as she can. Remember it being deadly. Maybe that's why I drew it like this. She scared me. Deep dive into the mind of a psychopath. Nah. Hey, would a psychopath draw Bowser like this? Uh. <laughs> Poor Bowser. You got fucking nerfed. Oops. Then we got Pichu. I like Pichu. Kind of looking scary. See where it all began, yeah. Oh, Ga Gandalf was always one of my favorite characters in, in Melee. Look how muscly he is. Oh, yeah. His, Ga his name was Ganondorf, not Gandorf, by the way. It's in black and white. And I never colored anything. Mm -mm. Yeah. We got Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff looking real good. Probably one of my favorites. Really shows off the artistic ability. Really went a creative choice there. The muscle, hell yeah, all about the muscle. Oh shit. And this is just interesting. I decided to make a bunch of swords, creative swords I made. So they're just like these random fucking sword designs I made as a little kid. I played with swords a lot as a kid. Fake swords, obviously. Now you some weird swords. Look at this one. This is like a banana sword, it looks like. Then we got this sword. This one's deadly, baby. Look at these designs. A couple more swords here. These ones look quite regular. Whoa. Yeah, they're just a bunch of regular looking swords. Alright, that was one book down. Now we'll do the one that says Don't Touch Notebook. I'm sure this one will be really good since it literally says Don't Touch It. And it says at the top, I'm bored. Something I've seen at adult shops. Great. Wonderful. Thank you for very much, Albert. <laughs> All right. So I think I've gone through this pretty recently, actually, this one. All right, so this is just, there's some writing in this one. So, it says, I'm really, really, really bored. Then the word phone. Then over here, it says, you suck. Then it says, you no no. Uh, I don't know what these are. I don't know what the fuck this is. But that's the first page. I've seen those things online where kids do or draw something naughty, but don't know, don't know what they did. Oh yeah, I think I know what you mean. You could draw something or write something, and it comes across as inappropriate. Minds, huh? <gasps> More guys, we got <gasps> guys. This is one of my favorites. I remember this one. This is my, my beautiful drawing of the guy scared of a potato, of potato, and he is horrified. He's so horrified that his shirt is fucking also yelling in fear. And look at the ground. There's a potato. This man <laughs> is so scared of that potato. <laughs> 
He's so scared of that potato. That potato's gonna fuck him up. We got the hair back as well, the scared hair. Hmm. I'm a four letter word for woman and I end in yeah, wonderful. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep, eight path. I see what you're doing. You guys know the Pokemon Terry Ursa? Took me a few seconds to think of the correct answer. Yeah, too dirty mother. Guys, look, it's Teddy Yursa. Very cool. I always like the one big eye trick. Hey, things look nice. Mm, pretty sure this one has some other pretty dark images. Oh, look, I drew a nerd! Fucking nerd! Look at this guy, he's a fucking nerd! See, I was always making fun of nerds. Look at that guy. <laughs> I've always been against the nerds. How dare you, selfie? They'd be more offended. All right. <laughs> this one's good. This one's good. Okay. So we have a scenario here. Of this guy right here in the middle saying, this is my hat. Then everyone in the back is like, a hat? Another guy in the front, a hat? That guy, a hat? And then beyond the grave, there's a guy coming out saying, a hat? It's not wild, guys. Everyone's just so like, what? A hat? <laughs> what was that laugh? What do you mean, what was that laugh? Oh, it continues. It's a hat part two. Look, it says on the top, a hat part two. A hat, his hat, his hat, his hat. My hat. Now I'm going la, 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 all talking about the hats. Very cool. There's a school. Did I do a school girl? I didn't even notice, to be honest with you. The one, one of the bomb going da, la, da, la, da, la. This, that sequel is a banger. Yeah, it's hard to usually do a sequel. Do you, are you guys familiar with Birdo from Mario? I made Birdo. Isn't it beautiful? Birdo. I also spelled it wrong. I said Brito. Very nice. Birdo does is cool. Oh, look, I remade Link again. I made more like movie characters. What the hell? Nice right, Zelda. These all look lame, by the way. I'm not showing them. They're just kind of just basic. Oh, I made Patrick. Tell me if it looks exactly like Patrick. Pink Yoshi, who sucks. Yeah, basically. Like my rendi rendition of Patrick. Very nice. Mm -mm. Literally sucks. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. They actually literally suck, dude. Okay. Fuck all their nose. Oh, oh no. Guys, it's Squidward. Poor Squidward. I feel bad for the guy. He's had a rough time, hasn't he? Wow, poor guy. Oh no, I did see. <laughs> I did Sandy dirty. Look at Sandy. Didn't even put her name at the top. Damn, Sandy. Looks like he's having a fucking erect dick coming out of you. That's her tail. What's up with the legs? That was the legs. It wasn't a penis in the middle. Don't worry. With the fucking Squidward. You ever seen the game? Theory episode about Mario being an abusive father. I think I do. Uh, I think I have seen that for some reason. It sounds familiar. He clips Mario and Yoshi and his donkey punching him to get him to eat and stuff. Maybe I haven't. That doesn't sound familiar. Never mind.
I think I was making a mouse here, but it just looks like a thing with a fucking dick nose. Very cool. Father to baby Mario or mm. Ooh, oh. I always I skip so many random pages. I don't know what the hell this page is about. It just has the, I guess, seventh grade, which I'm assuming I was in the seventh grade at the time. Then it says second biggest. I think I was maybe like the second tallest person in, sec in seventh grade. Which I was, I think. So I was tall, I guess, during that time. Need to be. I don't know. Oh, guys, this one said, oh, guys, whenever this one says love, which doesn't look like my writing at all. You know what concerns me? I, I feel like maybe my sisters or my parents open this up or open up things and just put stuff in like that heart. They have the they wrote letters love in there because they were worried about some of the stuff I was drawing. Big moment for you starting as tallness. That's how it is. <laughs> I have some phone numbers just written in here. Let's not show that. Not because he's five two. No, it's four eight action. All right, this next one's a bit more dark. Um. So this is a bunch of people. Though they're, they're stick people, so it's not gruesome. But there's a bunch of people. The bottom it says live or die, so it's kind of like a saw trap shit. It's a bunch of people being hung, I guess, being in weird positions, in cages, and other stuff. Very nice. I like that. Oh, there's some dead bodies in this around. I didn't even notice on the camera. Even smaller than chocolate. You heard it here, folks. And paid in for no shit. Yeah. Not the shortest. Not the shortest. Not the shortest. Uh, the oh, this is one of my favorites. I remember this. So this is the Battle of the Smile. Boom! <laughs> so they're all battling on a smiley face. So yeah, they're all just like mercilessly murdering each other. All on a smiley face. Very nice. Very nice. Mm -mm. Oh, hey, Alex. How have you been, man? Cheered 26 bits. Let's go. 26E. Thank you, Alex. Alex, I'm looking through childhood drawings right now. <laughs> How have you been, man? Mm -hmm. You super duper gay and gave himself the nickname Rainbow. Oh, I missed that at the top. I actually knew a dude named Mario who was around your height. I did play pieces with my orchestra. Nice. Okay. Anyways. This is another... Oh god, I gotta... Another random battle shit. Do I go to sleep or do I stay up? Spin the Kent. Alright. Alex. Here's Kent. I don't remember if you've, yeah, if you've met Kent yet. I haven't talked to you in a while. But Kent is a part of the chair because Sad Neil's son recently grew up. But if he faces that way, it's yes. Faces that way, no. Kind of the dark now. I guess that's a no. I'm sorry. You don't go to sleep. It's 
just how it is. Mm -mm. All right. Mm -mm. No, I think we got through most of the nightmare fuel. We're actually almost done going through everything here. I have another comic shit here. What could I go through? Ooh. No go. <laughs> oh my god. This is fucking horrifying. Alright, alright, alright. Happy doll head behind you. No. So there's just one single page here. And there's just some writing at the top. And it just says, why can't we be friends? Why? Why do I see killer at the top there? That's from the other page. No, it's not. Oh, no, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> That's from a different page. Don't worry. It's the see-through. There we go. Why can't we be friends? Why? God. <laughs> what a waste of paper. I know. I waste a lot of paper. I got to admit, there's so many just blank shit. Like, look at this. I was a paper weed. I fucking hated trees when I was a kid. Fuck trees. That's what trees get. Mm -mm. Um. Taylor Giant, more of massacres. You get more characters. Oh, my interesting. I drew Princess Peach as a glass. Cause she made me thirsty. Mm -mm. The, the, the last thing I saw was the fight between the two stuffed animals and then one got put inside the other. Oh, that was, that was, that was actually quite a while ago. Oh, that was, yeah, yeah. How have you been though, man? How's life been treating you? Yeah. That was, uh, that was something. <laughs> that was something. That, yeah, that was Pino, and I forgot about all that shit. Now we're all normal. We just have a baby head on the back. Because there was an entire sad Neil birth. I was sad, sad Neil. Then there was a birth, and I got a baby out of it. Me and sad Neil, we had coitus. And then the baby got born. Name was Kent. And then I took care of him. Then I decapitated him. Then he became part of a doll in the back. Then I hung him for a bit. They stayed in the back after being hung. And then just literally a couple of days ago, um, we tried to make him grow. And then it all fell apart. And then decided to stick his head on our new chair here. And he basically can't just grow up like his father. Yeah. Dun dun. Life's been treating me all right. All right. It's an all right time. Yeah. Mm -mm. I guess that's how it is. Just been average, I guess. Average time. Mm-mm. Followage. Dang. It's almost been, a, yeah, it's almost been a year, man. Watch time is getting, wait, you fucked up watch time. Watch time. Zero. Watch time never works. Always at zero. Always at zero. Mm -mm. But, uh, yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, I hope interesting here. Oh, here's another good one. I'm scared to see mine. I'm going to point out an unhealthy addiction. Well, luckily it's broken. It never works the watch time. So you'll never see that. I can probably look it up and look. Find it. Mm -mm. Alright, so this is a drawing of a weird monkey thing. But there's a guy just saying, I'm dead. Which is very nice. I quite like that. There's nothing like just a dead guy. That makes me happy. At least he acknowledges it. I'm just gonna unsub real quick. Oh shit. 
What was up with me drawing Jigglypuff really weird? So why do I have two drawings in Jigglypuff? Why is this one rapid? Or rapid? 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 What's the word? Rapid? 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 Rap? I don't remember. And then we got Spongebob here. Never seen Spongebob yet. Rapid. Is that the word rapid? 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 Doesn't feel like the word. Some more writing on the back here. Oh, look how nice this is. Rapid. Like the beast from Monty Python, sharp and pointy. Yeah. Sheesh. Look at this nice message from my sister. It says, Much love, Josh Leslie. It's kind of hard to see. A bit painted. Josh Leslie Arthur Watch. Love ya. Love Nessa. Wow. Thank you, sister. Wow. So kind. So humble. So kind. What's up? All right, last one, the Patrick book. Patrick book is where we finish this off. Let's see what's in here. Looks like a good start. Named after your dad. Yeah, yuppers. Look at that right there. Isn't that nice? I don't know if that stuff was on up above him, but. I like that. That's a good thing to come in there. I remember me and my sister actually had an argument over this book here. What is it? No idea. Some kind of monster. <laughs> I remember me and my sister, because I think there was, we had two different books. And we had to, and and one was for my sister and one was for me. That, like my parents bought us. Um, and... I forget what the other one was, but we I remember both of us wanting Patrick. And I remember me getting it and my sister being very angry. So, fuck her, you know. I win. Look at this thing. I don't know what the fuck this is. What the fuck is this? Does it have udders? Do you see that? Is there udders on there? Or is there a bunch of penises? What is this? This is horrifying. They're becoming more inhumane looking. What is this? Mm, nothing. Three peens. All about the three peens. Long arms, hopefully. Others go down. They were going down, kind of. Look, I think I drew my hand when I was a kid. I did that thing where you like put your hand down and you like see, see it. Maybe that kind of looks almost similar to my hand. I don't think maybe it wasn't my hand because I, I doubt my hand was as big as this hand. Or I just drew it really poorly. That's a little SpongeBob wristband. Make them into turkeys. Yeah, we did too. What the fuck is this? I see somebody is trying to ruin me. There's it says Josh smells. Then some weird witch lady. That upsets me right there. I don't know if I drew that and someone just made the writing, but that makes me very upset to see and I feel betrayed. Another hand, very nice, with another Spongebob wristband, you always gotta have them. You got this thing, very nice, very good. God, I really like drawing the most ugliest shit in the world. I'm melting, very good. 
you should watch the old cartoon Ariel Monsters. It'd probably make you feel normal. Is it even worse than all this? Oh yeah, someone wrote my book. Look, someone wrote my book. It says "Hello, Josh Smile." Also written really good and, and actually colored in. How dare they? I wonder who did that? But I'm very upset. I've been slandered. Oh shit! Hell yeah! So I said, do I give that? Maybe I shouldn't give that away. I'll cover that. Oh God. So I put, um, these are annoying. And the first, and I made a list. And the first thing on the list just says my sister. And last name, watch. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's right. Fuck my sister. <laughs> this is the only thing on the list. Very good. <laughs> Fair enough. Great sibling relationship. I remember us having a normal relationship. Apparently, in the book says otherwise. I don't know what the fuck this is. It says, what does it say? If you need me, if you need me, I, I'm Hitch, and I will come. All right. Even I don't understand what the fuck is happening. My fuck, this was me. Mm -mm. I don't know about that one. I have no idea. Look, another person wrote in my notebook. It says, Dear Josh, Hey, how are you? I am fine. Do you know who this is? I'm not going to tell you. Okay, see you later. You know what? I think it was the people around me that made me insane. Imagine finding that in your notebook. Horrifying. <laughs> All right. I think I was writing a story here, but I gave up very quickly. So this says, I'll read it out. I can barely fucking see it. It says, the title is The Dragon. Hello, hello. Anybody there? What you, what you doing, Jake? Looking for Sue. That's it. But we all, we all, what we know about the story of the dragon is that Jake is looking for Sue. Pretty wild stuff. <laughs> the return of Jake. I remember loving the name Jake growing up. I thought the Jake name was the coolest shit in the world. I love Jake. I love that fucking name with a burning passion. <laughs> I thought it was so cool. Oh, the return of the burning house. It came back. Except this person running sword. No dead body, so that's good. Both names are biblical. That's right. I'm Jesus, basically. That's what you're saying. I hear ya. How many wasted paper? So sad. Uh. 
get illusion on time. No, that's what you said. Look at this ridicule. There's another drawing of whatever the fuck this is. And that's when my name is says Josh. I'm being bullied in my own notebook. We gotta find another one doing it. But first, first, before we get to that one, there's some other shit here. There's a house and somebody driving. Very nice. Very cool stuff. I like how it's just like a random shit. See, here, here we go. Another shit. Look at this. There's some. I don't know what that is. A lemon or something? A lemon guy? And it just has my name pointed at it again. Knows how far you've fallen. <laughs> this kid me's bullying me. I didn't draw these drawings though. <gasps> I figured out who it was. It was my cousin who was doing a bit of it. So I have a drawing here that pointed out. I made her and I pointed her name at it. I won't show it because I don't want her name. I don't want her name out there, but. This is an ominous page. It just says contract. And there's nothing on it. <laughs> Very good. Probably had a contract with the fucking devil. I don't even know it. Well, this one also says contract. It has a bunch of like names on there. Eyeballs. That was a, that's actually all that book. What a weird book. What a weird book I had. There's nothing really in them. But there's enough in them where you kind of get this weird vibe. You know what I'm saying? You were gonna write one a contract? Yeah, it was fucking crazy. Nutty. That's some more shit, too. Wait, wait, give me a sec. I'm feeling nostalgic right now. Never mind. I thought I had something else. I don't remember where it is. I thought I had it somewhere. Oh, man. Someone found that with no context, they'd be institutionalized you when they found you. Um, I was trying to find a different notebook I had, which had more like writing stuff in it. About what he said he was getting. There was another notebook that I had as a kid. I had writing in it. Is it in here?
Pretty poetry. Hope not. No, I didn't find it. I thought it'd be fun. I've gone through this before. Maybe I'll go through a little bit right now. But this isn't really nostalgia. This isn't kid stuff I had when I was a kid. This was some other shit. So this is actually something I use right now. This is my... I'm going to give it all my secrets right now. This is my notebook of, like, my life. Um, I've talked about beforehand, and I've showed some stuff on stream as well. And I have so much shit. This was, like, when I hit my early 20s, I got this notebook, and I just kept shit in here. And I have just a lot of random shit throughout my life. Um... A lot of crazy stuff. I, I've, I've gone through it on stream though before, pretty recently as well. I don't know if any of you guys were there. I'm not too sure. I guess I'm just in a nostalgic mood right now. It'd be like Robert Frost, super downer shit. Yeah. I think I have. I have so much shit in here. I haven't actually used it in quite a while. I need to. No, there's nothing in here actually I want to share. Uh... Yes. Pretty nutty. Oh, uh, August 13 every year. Try to find something. No, I didn't write down dates. Welcome back, Arthur. I went through all the drawings already. We already went through all that. Um, At the moment, I have my notebook that I have. That I keep. That's not from my childhood. That's from like my 20s that I got. I don't have dates, though, unfortunately. I couldn't go back. I remember the first stuff I wrote in here, though. Damn. Sorry, I'm just like doing my own shit right now. I'm not even sure. I'm just like looking at shit. It's so weird to think about. It's so weird to like go back to how you were thinking when you were at a different time in your life and what your goals were and just how you viewed stuff and how things were going. I don't know. I feel like I've changed so much throughout the years. Mm -mm. Currently, Elden Ring PC is only stable. There's some issues with the PC version. Okay. Uh, my one friend has been playing it. Jordan has Zalo Storm. Um, I think a lot of people are turning down their graphics settings because it just takes a lot to run it. Mm -mm. Guys, you want to know something super lame? <laughs> God, this is real cringe. This is real cringe. It's really fucking cringe. I'm looking at some shit here and it reminds me of it. I wasn't as cringy here, but I remember being like, what was it? Like, being like 16, 17. And I remember having a distinct moment 
and a distinct goal of being like, yo, guys, I like, even talked to my friends about it, some of them. Um, but I felt like I, I could or whatever. And I was like, one day this is oh god it's so cringe it's so cringe it's so cringe i probably watched too much naruto like anime i was like one day guys i'm gonna create world peace <laughs> i legit had that goal when i was like 16 i was like yo i'm gonna do it i'm gonna find a way i guess a lot of people a lot of younger people have that like goals or whatever i said mine was manifested in a cringy not realistic way not like a not a realistic depiction of what that even means i guess <laughs> what a goal <laughs> bro <laughs> i was a little up there didn't even graduate high school yo guys world peace come on Fifteen years ago, you would have hated me. Yeah. Yeah, we all change and stuff like that. Mm -mm. World peace, world peace. But then, like, when I actually became older, got older, and became more like, like, um, and we're on the brink of war. Very good. Yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about when I was younger. From, from your generation, would say. <laughs> like, fuck it, let's go. No, but I was saying then when I got older, hitting like, obviously actually getting into my 20s and having a better outlook on stuff and a more like, you know, realistic view on stuff. My, I feel like my goals haven't changed. They've just became more realistic. It's like not so much about world peace and stuff like that. It's more of just creating a better environment around you where you are and creating as much peace in your area or are you the not peace, but like not world peace, but like a better world. If that makes sense. And I remember having that distinct change in my mindset. Then like, hey, you know what? I'm going to try that out. Then I kept getting older and older. Getting more realistic and stuff. But. Mm -mm. Say in that case, if my teen stuff said the same shit, focus on what will affect me while I'm alive. But anything after that. Mm. In the world through sad nihilism. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Go make some tea. Go make some tea. Let's go make some tea. Hell yeah. Mm -mm. I just want to bring the same entertainment to people that I experienced when I was little. Seeing characters brought to life on the big screen in amusement parks. Yeah, it's giving people just a sense of joy and whatnot. See, that's a realistic goal. That's a <laughs> That's good. That's nice though. Just be yeah, bringing people joy. Mm -mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of making me think right now of like what my goal is now. Like, what is my goal? What do I want to do? And I don't know if I have a goal. As I'm having an accidental, 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 no, an accident. 
Oh god, X. I can't fucking think of the word. No, I think I'm at actually a much healthier mindset that I do now. Or I think I'm a much healthier individual now because I focus on more little stuff, um, which is how you get to doing how you got to focus on the little stuff to build up to do bigger stuff. You know? And little stuff matters a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Got, you, got you to entertain people even bring a smile to just one person yeah yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Entertain people. I never, well, I've actually never really thought about it in that way, to be honest with you. I've never, like, I don't have that goal to entertain people. And I don't really, like, have ever tried to go towards that. I've kind of just been doing stuff that I've enjoyed. And if it, like, people are entertained by, like, I guess, like, on stream here or whatever, then people just are. But it's not really, like, uh, not something I really actually think about. Oops. <laughs> oh, I'll try. <laughs> Sorry, cho- Sorry, chocolate. <laughs> oh, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> And yourself tends to bring others joy just by them being around you. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Because you do need to fo- you do need to focus on yourself, in a sense of like just even just being a healthy individual, it'll just make the people around you just a happier individuals as well because they won't have to like worry about you or whatever it is. Um. And yeah. Save you from the accidental crisis. Not one will. No, no. It is interesting, though. Like, I'm legit trying to think of, like, I guess, yeah, just a bunch of little goals. It's just, like, I guess, yeah, there, there is that aspect, I guess, of entertaining people. So I do want to grow here on Twitch and whatnot grow and any kind of entertainment kind of stuff whether it's youtube or whether it's other fields um i don't know i guess i've always just liked all sorts of creative outlets okay i think i'm just drawn to it all mm-hmm just had a memory coming from come come flooding back what's your memory my brother and i created a tabletop rpg with a regular deck of playing cards Ooh. the regular deck of playing cards a tabletop rpg Sounds interesting and convenient. Where kings were paladins, queens were priests, jacks were black mages, and aces were warriors. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. The amount of damage has that would be based off random cards drawn from one to ten. 
Sounds like it would be actually fun. Sounds actually like viable as well. Mm -mm. Each face card could draw one to two cards based on us. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. The only I would play that way tabletop RPGs. Actually, I played hardly any. Actually, I literally have only played D and D. I think, yeah. I've played Guess Who though. That was pretty complicated. You gotta guess who the person is. You're like, are you Harold? Is and like, no. Got green hair. You know. That was pretty nutty. We have to be creative. Yeah, it makes sense. Play, do with, work with what you got. Mm. I always stand by Mousetrap being the worst board game to ever exist. Fucking sucks ass. Not even fun. And it takes a million years to set up. The worst thing in the world. The worst one. Mm -mm. Dun, dun. Favorite board game? Go. Go! Oh, you're saying, what's your favorite board game? I thought you were saying your favorite board game was named Go. I'm like, I haven't heard of it. I was, I used to be so good at Clue. I was a banger at Clue. I remember playing with like my family and I would own them at Clue. I'm like, I would just know. I felt, oh my God, I was, I, I love Clue. Clue was actually one of my faves growing up. Monopoly. Monopoly sucks. Monopoly sucks ass. I hate Monopoly. It's not how you guys like Monopoly. It's not even fun. The only enjoyment I got out of Monopoly was cheating. If you go to the bathroom while I'm playing while playing Monopoly with me, I will steal your money. Or I'll steal from the bank. I do it every time. <laughs> I do. Fun when you're good at it. I just I get bored of Monopoly. I have to make my own fun by cheating. <laughs> uh, my favorite board game though. Yo, I kind of like what board game was my favorite. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Clue might be one of my favorites actually when I think about it. I haven't played that many board games. I've been kind of just the basic ones. Um, 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 I like card games more, to be honest with you. Fuck. It might be a clue. I think it's clue. I would guess. Honestly, I kind of like Guess Who a lot. <laughs> it's a dumb game, but I like Guess Who a lot. It's so simple, but it's so great. I mean, my friend Cry once we I haven't played since. Very good. I like that. Battle Battle Shuffle is good too. It was likely third. I don't think I've ever actually played Battleship, like an actual board game of Battleship. Connect 4. Yeah. Yo, I realize that I just don't have that much board game knowledge. I don't play board games, really. Should I play more board games in my life? I, like, never do. Mm-mm. Oh, I do love life. But the thing is, I only liked Life because I played online, like a 
virtual board game online with my friend. And we would always, it was always fun playing life because when, when you get married, it gives you a random, it would give you a random NPC. And it was always fun to look what the NPC was. And we played it. We would always be like, oh, well, who are you going to get? And then you get them and you'd be disappointed. But. Yeah. Most horrifying me. I never wanted to be given kids. Yeah. Life is actually fun. The spanner. I want to get them kids. Life's scary. Uh, life sucks. Then you grow up. 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 My history teacher had that poster on his high school. That's a nice poster. Very good. Ah. Yeah. Don't suck. It's good. Life good. I'm yawning. Oh god. I hit off too soon. Actually, I'm fucking. I'm really tired. Actually, I'm like barely fucking staying awake right now. My eyes are watering. I'm just like going. Oh, just. It's a different kind of sucking. Different kind. Dun 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 dun. I prefer being adult, an adult way more than being a kid. Mm-hmm. I didn't like being a kid, really. Oh, oh. It was always so stressful. Being a kid is stressful. Mm. I could totally fall asleep right now. But I'm not going to. Mm-mm. Forced on you more. Your decisions that make it suck. Oh, I closed my eyes for a few seconds earlier, and I was thinking, next thing I know, I'm in hangout stream. I woke up thinking, where the hell am I? Very good. I like that. And that's what happens. You transfer over. Yeah, we waited to hang now. That's how it goes. It's funny. Can't sleep anywhere. This is, that is not my bed. I can see all the time. I can see right now. I'm to do a sleep stream. That's the ambulance coming. Oh, my name is Taurus. I can fall asleep anywhere because I don't have trauma. Trauma. You're right, I don't. Ah! Mm mm. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Bliss sticks. Guys ever hear about bliss sticks? If you don't know about bliss sticks, how are you going to know about the list, Bic? Bic. 
bix. If you bix your if you bix your sticks, I you know you rix. I use beeswax. Yee. Or Carmack. What are you on about? You gotta use bliss sticks. No, I don't you use bliss sticks. <laughs> Look, you made me cry. How does it feel to make somebody cry? Do you feel good about it? <laughs> Let's practice crying. It's generic. It is pretty generic. It isn't actually my go-to. I honestly just get whatever. You've seen how many random fucking chopsticks I have. This is the one that's near here. Great cry. Very good. Hey, Arthur. Let's cry, Arthur. Let's see if any of my friends are online. There's nobody. I should probably end the stream. But I don't want to. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to change the stream tile right now. Let's cry. I don't know. Maybe 17, 18 years ago. Let's, hit, let's invent time travel. Upcoming apology video. Yeah. You're right. What do you think I'll have to apologize for the future? What do you guys predict? <laughs> That's a fun guess. Oh. An apology video. Mm. But the uh, kind of tea. What kind of tea, Arthur? Dun, dun. No, I'll probably never. Well, actually, I, I won't say never make an apology video because you never know the future. But generally speaking, majority of apology videos aren't really good. And I don't think majority of the time you don't need to be apologizing for majority of people's your personal life online. That doesn't make any sense. But if I ever do something where you guys are involved that I mess up in, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll apologize for that. Mm-mm. <laughs> If something happens in my personal life, I'm not going to apologize to you guys. You guys aren't a part of that. <laughs> That'd just be weird. Probably call you out for taking something too far during a sacrifice. Nah, what? Killing babies? Not far enough. Mm -mm. No. I've honestly prepared myself mentally for that something like that to honestly happen in the sense of like i know my like i know my humor my humor is pretty fucking dark well i don't think it's that dark to be honest with you but it can be pretty dark humor um so like i know that there's people who won't be happy about it or won't vibe with it which is fine not everybody vibes with the same kind of humor um I think as long as I'm not like targeting a certain like group of individuals, I feel like the only humor I feel like that goes too far would be like stuff that would be specifically targeting a group of people. And that would be like maybe something that would be like really recent or something. Just like bad timing and circumstance and whatnot. I guess just all the context of that need to be taken into account. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My apology video would be would be if I was long and I would just say I'm sorry that you feel that way. Yeah. Short and sweet. I would be what you want to apologize. Fuck you the moon. I had a guy get upset with me because I called him a punk ass bitch. Nice. 
Yeah. You know, you're right. Just proving my point, right? Mm-mm. Ba 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 ba. Change the stream tell to doing nothing. Very good. Oh, apology, apology. That is a problem though online. I feel like it's kind of getting a bit better. People are being more open about it and talking about it. But I feel like a lot of like, it more has to do with like bigger creators and whatnot. Where people feel like they're like involved in somebody's, somebody's like content they make online, like life or whatever. They feel like they're like personally a part of it. I just don't like that. It's weird. It weirds me out. Mm -mm. He quit a few weeks later. Nice. Taking out the week. Hell yeah. We are bodyguards. You can't be a little bitch. Yeah, that makes sense with your work. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Just you North Americans don't really give a fuck. What do you mean? Mm -mm. Oh. Eat meal. Feel that shit. Very good. Very nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> All right. I think I'm going to head off, though. It's almost 2 a.m. And I should go. I should go. I'll do a couple drawings. I think be good. Um, Yeah. All right. I will catch you guys later. Have a good night or day or whatever. Bye, bye, bye. Got to wake up and finish God of War. Yep. Yep. Yeah.